Today we are looking at creating a remix using Logic Pro 10. Two main types of remixes, one is a club mix. We're gonna look at a radio edit today. This very much follows a similar pattern to the song itself. Today we'll be using a song by the wonderful Jenny Mayhem called Could Be, and she's given the acapella stem for this. Normally what you would do is you would then have to figure out the key, figure out the chords that go behind this. I've already done that for you today because I really want us to crack on with our project. I've also given you the arrangement. So if you look at the top, there's an arrangement tab. Normally within a radio edit, it follows the pattern of the song, but there are a number of differences. And the main difference really comes in in the bridge. And in the bridge, normally they have a bit of a breakdown. The instruments drop back. So in other words, where it was quite full before in the chorus, Going into the bridge, you would strip some of the sounds out and then that would build up again into the next chorus. Let's have a listen to the bridge first. Why won't you? Why won't you? Why won't you say love? Right, so that's the part where we would normally have all the instruments drop out, that would be the best place for us to start. So we want to build it up. We want to start on the left hand side with virtually nothing in the bridge and then build it. But nothing stops you from repeating a section. Now that I've given you arrangement markers, it's fairly easy to move sections around. All you have to do is select the section itself and you can drag it where you want it and all the audio information will go with you. You could also have it repeat. So to repeat, you have to put the markers down for where you want it to repeat. Go to edit, cut or insert time, and repeat between locators. There you go. So now we're repeating our bridge. Remember I said we could cut some of the information at the start, at the left hand side, and then move that across. So if we're thinking within our bridge, we might want to go without the chords, right? So you could just select and backspace to delete the chords, which would only leave you with a bass. Have a listen to a bit. Why won't you? Why won't you? Why? And it means that we can start like that and build it. Obviously, you'll want to add some samples or some instruments. So remember, in Logic, you can add samples by going to Apple Loops, top right hand corner, clicking, and that gives you a whole selection of different loops. Something to, to note, this track is at 88 beats per minute. Why am I telling you this? Well, if you look at your samples, you'll notice that it gives tempo information on the right hand side. So something that's within 10 BPM would work really nicely. So you can see loads of different samples that fit within our tempo. So once you find what you like, you can literally just drag that in. Remember, you can loop them. Okay, as you can see, I've done quite a bit of work on this. I've added some samples in the form of drum loops. And you can see my drum loops build. I start with one type of beat, and then I even add a second beat on. I'm trying to have it build up. A couple of things to note in the bridge. I've played some of my own sounds in. To do that, simply go to Track, New Software Instrument, and you'll be given a new software instrument. By pressing the library button on the left-hand side, you can then choose what sound you are going to use. You'll see that I have uh, added some lead parts, I've added some chords, and I've kept the bass. I just changed the sound of the bass slightly. Something else that you need to note is the use of risers. Risers are often used in electronic music to give a feeling of progression. And I have a separate track for my risers. Let me play you what that riser sounds like. Why won't you, why won't you say that? Do you hear that? Started quietly and then got progressively louder. Remixes are known for playing around with vocals. You were given the original vocal track, but you could play with it a little bit more. What I did was, I merely selected the vocal track, placed my playhead where I wanted to cut the track, and then used Command T. So I've cut my track into various little bits, and then had some of the bits repeat. Why won't, why won't, why won't you?
that highlights particular lyrics. In the video description, I've given you a download link to this original file. Go ahead, download it, and start working on your bridge. I will see you back here for part two of our remix.